All right, welcome to FBX Static Mesh Export. This is Don and Tips and Tricks Nice Box. This is how to export static meshes from Autodesk 3D Studio Max 2014 into Unreal Engine 4. So initially we're going to start out with this box right here and we are going to actually convert this to an editable poly mainly so that we can go into polygon and make sure that we have a directional position so that we know which way is up. So I'm just going to insert a vertex in here, go to vertex mode, select it, and then go to uh, geometry relax. Now I'm going to hit W and I'm going to pull that up. So now we have like a point of direction, now where it's going. I'm going to create a simple material. I'm just going to throw my face on something because why not? So now we have an object that we can export. Okay, it's simple. We've got a material and we've got an object. You could have, this could be anything. So I'm done. I have it selected. Now I'm going to go up to this file options. The file export, we're going to export selected. If you hit export, it'll get everything, which would mean it gets all of our reference planes in the background and all this other stuff that we don't want. We just want to export selected. 99% of the time, that's what we're going to do. So export selected, and we're going to call this uh, box and hit save. It's a terrible name, but you get the idea. Now, initially, the defaults are turbo smoothing is on, and we don't want that on. What we and what else? Uh, this convert deforming dummies is on and preserve edge orientation is on. Uh, we don't actually want this convert deforming tummy, uh, dummies to bones. We don't need selection sets. And turbo smooth, which is usually on, we do not want on. What we do want on is smoothing groups so that whatever groups we have smooth will be smooth. And we also want to have triangulate on. Triangulate is nice because what it does is split up any edge or any face that's more than three sides, has more than three edges, into something that's triangulated. If we don't do it now, when we import it into Unreal Engine, it would automatically do it on its own or it wouldn't take it. So we can either do it here or we can do it on our own by actually going through and slicing these faces on our own. But uh, I like to leave it on just in case I missed anything. Now. Under animation, this is probably set to on. Cameras are probably on. Lights are probably on. We don't need any of that because we're just exporting a static mesh, which is one object. It's not going to move, uh, and we don't need cameras or lights when we're doing ex when we're exporting for games. For embed media, we want to make sure that's on because what that does is actually embed the media file, in this case the picture, into the FBX, which makes it uh, almost like a zip file. So it keeps all those different pieces inside the file so that when we're ready to export it out, uh, we're, when we're ready to import it into Unreal, it's ready to go. Under units, uh, this is debatable. Um, if you've set up your set, uh, if you've set up your grid for one unit, each unit will come in as a centimeter. So that's fine. Uh, for axis conversion, we want to make sure Z up is on. That way, Right over here, you can tell Z. We're, we deal with Z up in, un, in uh, 3D Studio Max, so we want to keep that the same. And then under FBX file format, we want to keep binary. So FBX uh, 2014. Now this is the default setting, so that's fine. When we when we're done, we have all of our settings set. All this is good. Click OK. Now I already have Unreal open right here. All I need to do is grab my file and where to go box. All right, so I'm going to grab my file and drag it in. And you can drag it into anywhere. It makes more sense to make sure you put it into a logical folder inside your your game. But I'm just going to drag it in there for now. I'm just going to click import. It's going to auto generate collision. Uh, which is fine for now. And this is not a skeletal mesh. It doesn't have bones in it. And it should automatically figure that out and make sure that's not selected. So then we hit import. It takes a second. And you can see it brought in the material and actually created material. It brought in the texture and the material. And then it also brought in the box. So now all I need to do is drag the box over. And there it is. Now it's way too small because my units were set up so that they were small. But 
you can see it works. And that's it. Thanks for watching.